Hi there. Welcome back to the Axure RP tutorial series. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a tab menu. We'll start by creating the tabs themselves. Drag two button widgets onto the canvas from the Libraries pane and place them side by side. Double-click the left button to change its text to Tab 1. Change the text of the right button to Tab 2. Next, select both buttons and use the Corner Visibility control in the Style pane to turn off the bottom corners. This will render both buttons with rounded corners on top and square corners on bottom, a tab shape. Now we need to make the content portion of the tab control. For this, we'll use a dynamic panel with multiple states. Each state will hold the content for one of the tabs. Drag a rectangle widget onto the canvas and place it below the two tabs. Give the rectangle a blue fill color and set its text to Tab 1 Content. Drag a second rectangle onto the canvas and place it off to the right of the other widgets. Give this second rectangle the same blue fill color as the first and set its text to Tab 2 Content. Next, right-click the Tab 1 Content rectangle and select Create Dynamic Panel in the Context menu. Open the Outline pane and hover your cursor over the item for the new Dynamic Panel widget. Click the Add State icon to the right to create State 2. Still in the Outline pane, select the Tab 2 Content rectangle and drag it under State 2. This will add it to that Dynamic Panel state and open the state on the canvas. Move the Tab 2 Content rectangle to 0, 0 inside State 2. Click Close at the top right of the canvas or press Escape to close the Dynamic Panel state. It's worth noting here that when you make your own tab controls, you can place any widgets you like in the dynamic panel states. You can also add as many tabs and states as you need. Now we're ready to set up our interactions. First, we need to set the dynamic panel state whenever one of the tabs is clicked in the web browser. Select the Tab 1 widget and click New Interaction in the Interactions pane. Select the Click or Tap event in the list that appears and then select the Set Panel State action. Select the Dynamic Panel in the Target dropdown, and select State 1 in the State dropdown. Click OK to save the action. Repeat these steps with the Tab 2 widget, and set the Dynamic Panel State to State 2. We're almost done. All we need to do now is indicate which tab is currently active. We'll do this by putting the tabs in a selection group and giving them a selected style effect. Select both tab widgets and click New Interaction in the Interactions pane. Under Style Effects, choose Selected. In the block that appears, check the Fill Color property and select the same blue color that we used for the content rectangles. Now we'll add an interaction that sets each tab to its selected state when it's clicked in the browser. Select the Tab 1 widget and click the plus symbol at the bottom of the Click or Tap block in the Interactions pane. This will let us add a new action to the event. Select the Set Selected Checked action and target this widget. Repeat this for the Tab 2 widget. Next, select both tab widgets and click the More Options icon at the top right of the Interactions pane. Enter Tab Control Group in the Selection Group field. Putting the tab widgets in a selection group will ensure that only one of them can be in its selected state at a time. Finally, let's make the Tab 1 widget selected by default. Select it and open the More Options menu in the Interactions pane. Check the box for Selected and then preview the page. Head over to docs.axure.com for more learning resources and start exploring. Thanks for watching and happy prototyping!